Welcome to another Thailand News Today. Thanks to Jed for fronting the program yesterday. Now, this afternoon's protest is inviting so-called good police to become involved to fight alleged corruption. The Prime Minister will be the first to get the COVID vaccine when it arrives from China tomorrow. And a woman has died after a routine liposuction procedure. Now, all that and a whole lot more today on Thailand News Today. Bars and pubs throughout Thailand will be able to open from March the 1st in every province except Samut Sakon, the recent epicentre of new COVID-19 infections. With Thailand's number of coronavirus infections now on a downward trajectory, many provinces with little or no cases have been reclassified by the CSA. The majority of Thailand's 77 provinces are now classified as green zones where bars and pubs can operate as normal. Bars, pubs and entertainment venues in Orange Zones, which includes Bangkok, will be able to serve alcohol until 11pm. Restaurants will also be able to serve alcohol and offer dine-in services until 11pm. Live performances are allowed, but the customers are not allowed to dance. Some of them shouldn't be allowed to dance anyway. I've seen them. Schools and other education facilities are now open as per normal. In Yellow Zone provinces, bars and entertainment venues can serve alcohol until midnight, while restaurants can also serve alcohol and offer dine-in services until midnight. Live performances are allowed, but just like the Orange provinces, no dancing is allowed. Sports stadiums in both Orange and Yellow Zones can open, but only a limited number of spectators are allowed. Gyms and other fitness centres can open as normal from the start of March. Now, orange zones include Bangkok, Samut Prakan, Samut Songkram, Nontaburi, Nakhon Patom, Patom Thani, Tak and Ratchaburi. Now, full details about all the restrictions and the openings at thetiger.com. The pro-democracy of Ratsadon group has called for honest police officers to join a rally taking place today to protest police and government corruption. Protesters are expected to gather at the Ratcha Prasong intersection in Bangkok from about 5pm. That's when this program is usually uploaded. During last week's no confidence debate against the PM, members of the opposition accused Prayut Chanucha and his deputy Prayut Wongsuwon of involvement in a corrupt system of payments for promotion to allow police officers to move up the ranks. The Ratsadon group is appealing to officers who have not benefited from such corruption to join them in calling it out. The rally is being called the police mob to defeat an elephant in reference to the system known as elephant tickets, in which prominent figures at the top of the political system sign tickets that promote officers swiftly through the ranks. It's understood such tickets can be bought for millions of baht and even give the holder a discount on the bribe needed for promotion. The alleged system was highlighted during last week's parliamentary debate, with leaked documents claiming that the involvement of the PM and Prawit were involved, as well as another institution that we're unable to mention. An MP from the Move Forward Party, Ranksaman Rome, was swiftly threatened with the country's Les Majeste law after he presented a 2019 palace document which backed the promotion of 20 police officers. Ranksaman says he's aware of the risks he's taking in presenting such evidence in Parliament, but that the system creates a circle of immorality and corruption. A top virologist from Bangkok's Chulalongkorn University says the inactivated COVID-19 vaccines that will be in use in Thailand carry a low risk of side effects. Yong Pu Vorowan claims that the risk of a severe infection such as anaphylaxis is lower with the Chinese Sinovac jab than with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Posting on his Facebook page, he says a US study shows that one month after the administration of nearly 14 million vaccine doses, 4.5 cases of anaphylaxis were reported in 1 million patients. No deaths from anaphylaxis were reported. But vaccines such as the Pfizer and Moderna jabs are a newer type of vaccine and therefore have a potential to have more side effects. The first doses of the Chinese vaccine are expected to arrive in Thailand tomorrow with the Prime Minister volunteering to be the first to take it. 
COVID-19 inactivated vaccines have been developed in the same way as vaccines that have proven successful against other serious viral illnesses. He said they were created by the same procedures that are used to manufacture working vaccines such as for rabies, polio and hepatitis A. Thailand's domestic car sales dropped by over 21% last month, with passenger car sales plummeting by over 44% year on year. The resurgence of COVID-19 virus late last year has affected consumer confidence and buying power. Obviously, the sale of commercial vehicles is also down by 5.4% year on year. Toyota Motor Thailand speculate that people are worried about the second outbreak's impact on employment prospects and the economy as a whole, which is putting them off buying cars. They say that the automotive sector is still trying to recover from the effects of the original outbreak of the virus and that other sectors such as the tourism industry are at a standstill. Toyota has a 32% share of the domestic market and domestic sales this month are also expected to be affected by the ongoing crisis. Police in Bangkok are questioning two medics and four other staff members after a patient allegedly died during a liposuction procedure. A 54-year-old died at the clinic in the capital last Saturday. The woman's 30-year-old daughter says her mother wanted to remove fat from her back and had a number of consultations with various clinics and private hospitals. She chose that clinic in the Bang Kapi district because of satisfaction guaranteed assurances. Now her brother received a call from the clinic at around 1 p.m. when he was advised of complications during surgery. When he asked for his mother to be transported to hospital, it's understood the staff at the clinic refused. The children say their mother's life may have been saved if the clinic had arranged for her to be sent to hospital immediately. It's understood the clinic has two large hospitals nearby. An autopsy has since determined that the woman died from heart and respiratory failure. The Department of Health Services support says an initial inspection of the clinic has concluded that the equipment and surgery room were in satisfactory working condition and meet required standards. The clinic is still open but could face a charge of operating outside the hours it's licensed to do so. Imagine there could be other charges likely to be laid as well. Well, that's our Thailand news today for Tuesday. Plenty happening in the news. And of course, you can catch up with all the latest at thetiger.com. Please like our Facebook page and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.